And welcome back to Digital Trends Live. I'm Greg Nibbler and thanks for joining us wherever you are. We appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button because we get to talk to some pretty amazing people. And you know our next guest from not only his incredible celebrity interviews as the host of Hot Ones, but also as host of the spinoff Hot Ones, the game show, which airs on True TV. We're now joined by Sean Evans. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks so much for having me. Um, a lot of things I want to ask you, but first off, just to kind of get a little bit of the backstory, I was reading about how you got into this in the first place, but can you kind of sum up for everybody how you decided to combine eating ridiculously hot food with celebrity interviews to start off with? Well, for us, we were just trying to do something disruptive, you know, like take celebrities out of that PR driven flight pattern. And we floated a lot of ideas, but ultimately the funniest one to the ear, and it turned out to be a good idea was to do that by having guests eat increasingly spicy chicken wings. So that's kind of how it all started. The way it hit my ear, it was just so funny. So uh, Chris Schoenberger and I got into a room, hammered out the uh, <laughs> hammered out the framework, the architecture there. Uh, we're lucky enough to shoot a pilot with Tony Yeo, and here we are 12 seasons, 200 plus episodes later, and now with a game show on cable TV. So it's been a pretty crazy ride. Yeah, that's an incredible ride alone. And, and like you said, the game show on True TV. So um, basically, you know, contestants answer trivia questions while eating increasingly hotter sauces. And I noted that, uh, that you have EMTs standing by for this. Have you ever had to provide medical treatment to a contestant? Yeah, almost every episode. Uh, you know, during the commercial breaks, it's like a NASCAR pit crew. Like they just kind of run up <laughs> to the contestants. They're taking vitals and stuff. And actually, after the last episode, the medics that we had, because we had the same same people uh, all season long, they had me sign the puke bucket. So it was my first time ever signing a puke <laughs> bucket. And I think they're hanging they're hanging up in a firehouse somewhere in Atlanta. But yeah, uh, definitely <laughs> those people earn their paychecks for sure. Now you know fans are going to be bringing puke buckets for you to sign now that they, they're aware of that. Welcome. Uh, but, <laughs> well, um, with that, you know, just to ask something about that, what is the actual treatment for excessive heat? Like, I'm, I can go to, like, the habanero level. I'm not, a, I'm not a super heat guy. But for you, what is the best treatment? Is it milk or what, what do you do? I think that milk probably works the best. Uh, one time I did a, a Vsauce video, and we tried a bunch of different things. And actually... Uh, weirdly enough, the thing that worked was like this bizarre Frankenstein concoction of ice cream and then uh, like tear free uh, shampoo. Uh, but I think ultimately, if you're going to eat something super spicy, uh, the best remedy for afterwards is to just crank the AC, throw on some basketball shorts, relax and uh, just try to get through it. There's no sort of uh, wipe the slate clean, like some sort of etch-a-sketch that just shakes it back to normal. You just have to endure it, I suppose. Just kind of power through. Well, uh, talking about, you know, Hot Ones, the game show, going from, you know, what you, what you also do, which is interviewing celebrities, hosting a game show has got to be kind of a different animal. What was one of the biggest challenge, challenges you found of being a game show host? Yeah, I mean, it's totally different thing uh, in every sense of the way. Like, even doing the uh, interview show, like, there's so few people that are in the room. It's very intimate. And then here on the game show, you have this Pepperdome packed with people from Atlanta, uh, which, by the way, was an awesome city. The fans there were great. But I think the way that we kind of uh, made a comparison, that if it were, like, music, the interview show would be kind of the in the studio work, the songwriting part of it. And then the game show is really like the concert, more of a performance thing. You know, people in, this, in the Pepperdome throwing me bottles of hot sauce to sign, shook a lot of hands, met a lot of different people. Uh, so it's definitely a totally different beast. As far as the challenges go, it's all the, all the plate spinning. They're such different animals. Like in an interview, you kind of have to think about you know, where this conversation is going, map it out, make sure that you can adjust to whatever your guest is doing. But then in the game show, you know, you have to keep the score straight. This is worth this amount of money. If they get this right, they take the lead. If they get this wrong, they lose the lead. They need this one right. They need that one right. There's two questions to go. This team has to get both of them right in order to advance to the ring of fire. Like, there's a lot of internal math and then you have to, you can't make any mistakes with it. So it was just, uh, the plates are spinning in an interview show. The plates are spinning in a game show, uh, but they're definitely different kinds of plates. So it was a fun learning experience. Yeah. Sure. Sounds like a lot more math then with the game show side of things. Yeah, yeah. a lot of um, math. I'm not as good at math. So that was challenging, I guess. <laughs> 
Well, going back to your celebrity interviews, I was reading one of your Reddit AMAs from like a few years ago, and you mentioned having a whiteboard of dream guests, and I'm guessing that you've booked some of them by now, but who's on your whiteboard currently? Well, for us, I mean, I, I enjoy the process of just walking a mile in somebody else's shoes. I don't, you know, who it is, is, is not that important to me. I just like, you know, listening to the music or watching the movies or reading the books, you know, that to me is the important part of the process. And that's what I focus on. But the fans, God bless them, are just like so passionate that before we got Gordon Ramsay on the episode, everybody around me, whether I was at an airport, I was at my family Thanksgiving, I'm just walking down the street, people are yelling Gordon Ramsay at me, Gordon Ramsay, Gordon Ramsay, my Instagram comments getting <laughs> tweeted at me every day. So it was like an albatross growing around my neck and it was nice to cross that name off the list. And I thought, hey, once we catch some of these big white whales, then uh, the fans will chill out. But they haven't, they have not at all. Uh, now it's very much like Keanu Reeves, The Rock, you know, I think like Will Smith, you get one, you get two, you get three you put the you put the trophies on the wall and they just want more and more and more and more so i would like to get some of those people in the seat just so that uh you know people will chill out on me for a little bit <laughs> well you mentioned you know your fans yelling gordon ramsay and i'm sure you know back when we could go out places and travel and all that um how often do you have fans coming up to you and challenging you to eat something that's maybe the hottest at the restaurant that they're at well, I mean, not so often on the street, but every once in a while, every year, I'll go to the New York Hot Sauce Expo out in Brooklyn. And then every time I'm walking by something, people are shouting at me. You know, I think it's like, I've used this analogy, but it's like a, a comedian who drinks a beer on stage. And then afterwards, everyone wants to buy him shots or like an MMA fighter that wins a few fights. And then all of a sudden they walk into a place and people want to throw hands to just see where they, where they match up. But I would like to take this moment right now on your show show uh, if I could rent your platform for a second and just say I don't want the smoke you know if I'm off the clock I just want to drink juice I just want to eat cereal I'm not on a mission to find the world's spiciest dish and challenge myself that's not that's not really who I am or where I come from and uh, you know we've done hundreds of episodes literally eaten thousands of wings on the internet if everybody could just uh, you know let's have an ice cream off or something like that you know <laughs> Let Sean alone when he's out. He does enough eating of the hot stuff. Um, final question, knowing that you are a wrestling fan, I uh, wanted to ask you this. Uh, if you were to become a professional wrestler, what would your name be? Ooh, I would be like, uh, you know, you got you to gotta go with the brand, I guess. And uh, maybe I would be, uh, I'd be the, the fire starter. And then uh, my secret move would be the <laughs> flamethrower. It would just be grip it back behind over the shoulder throw the flamethrower. Nice, nice. I wonder if there's some way to force somebody to eat some hot sauce too or something along those lines. Thinking yeah, like yeah, that, that's my wrestling finishing. Style, but yeah, there it is. Well, Sean, uh, I want to remind everybody to, you know, on True TV, new episodes, Hot Ones, the game show is there. And of course on YouTube, you can follow along with everything that you're doing there. Um, pleasure to talk to you. Really nice having you on here. Congratulations on all your success as well. I really appreciate it. And thanks so much for having me on the show. It was fun chatting with you.